In case you missed it, because we're bringing that back. Uh, see, in case you missed it, Dragon Con. Mm -hmm. Dragon Con. Dragon Con. Yes. So, Dragon Con, Brandy and I were able to attend, yes. which is literally my favorite convention. I would same. drop all other conventions just to go to Dragon Con. And if you haven't been to Dragon Con, it is pretty much one of the biggest multimedia, sci fi, pop culture, comic book, nerdum, geek fest, fandom, drink a thons oh. ever. Yeah, and I, I remember Ever. most of it. I really do this year. I kind of behaved. Oh, I'm so I did. Glad. I know. Yeah. Last year was a blur. But see, the thing <laughs> I, is, apparently I went. There's just so much going on. Literally, Liz and I saw each other in registration. Yes. Which was really sweet. So day one, we we're made like, a connection. Hey, we're all awesome. And then we made plans to get together the whole we weekend. And then it didn't happen because there was so much going on. But then I saw her at the Star Wars meetup. Yes, so there was, was all the glowy sticks. And, and I had a glowy stick. Like, oh my god. And, uh, and then I didn't even know she was there. And then I was like, look, there's a Hufflepuff Jedi. And it just happened to be brand new. Uh, she's wrong. It was a Hufflepuff Sith. Come oh, to the dark side. Oh, well, I'm already Sith, but you know that. I know. Judging. Okay. <laughs> So, anyways, let's give you a really quick uh, wrap up of what we experienced at Dragon Con. Our favorite moments, our least favorite moment, because I know there was a lot of stuff that happened at Dragon Con mm. this year that was not so cool. No, it was not. Unfortunately. Um, and then let's talk about your favorite celebrity sighting. Wow. So, number one, let's talk about what I guess what I noticed was different. This yeah. was a very. Not a very cosplay heavy convention like uh, previous Dragon Cons mm -hmm. have been. Like, you'll go out in the Marriott probably around midnight and you'll see like 20 robots. And I didn't see a lot of cosplays that I yeah. tend to see. And I think part of that honestly may have been the fact that the convention has just grown so much. I mean, truly exponentially since I've been going. I started going in 2012, 2013. At that time, there were only 60,000 people going. Yeah, yeah only 60,000. No. <laughs> As compared to this year where there was 82,000 freaking people. There was. But so, didn't it feel late? I don't know. I never had. I, didn't, I always so all of the the hotels are connected as as well as with the mall right. which has the food court and like the CVS and mm -hmm. all the dragon people are like we know these spots yeah so it's all connected through like glassways the Center. every yeah. year I'm always sitting in the the hallway kind of like I just gotta I'm just gonna go to we Marriott we call them hamster tunnels yeah. because that's literally how you feel you're just squeezing through this tunnel I did not have that experience once this year I have to agree with you and I think part of that honestly may also I'm just the explainer here today yeah. right. I also feel like that may have been because the temperatures are different. So, guys, the uh, <laughs> Labor Day weekend in Atlanta, they call it Hot Atlanta for a reason. I'm talking 90-something degree weather. And yet this year, whether it was because of Hurricane Harvey that had blown through and it changed everything out, I don't know. But it was in the low 80s the entire time. People didn't mind being outside. They didn't mind yeah. walking in the streets because they were dying weather. of freaking strokes. And this is the year I decided I wasn't going to cosplay because I had just been in Vegas and I was mm. so tired. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to drink myself stupid and have fun with my friends and that was all I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm mad at myself because I would have worn my N7 armor and all of my heavy duty. Like I have a lot of armor cosplays and I tend to bring them to Dragon Con and always regret it. Because, because it's, it's like, like a million degrees, and this year I could have totally done it. I know. We, <laughs> Next um, year will be too hot. I mean, every year I say I'm only going to make like two or three costumes, and I think this year I didn't do too bad. I brought eight. Oh. And Jeez. I wore all of them. Only eight? Only eight. It wasn't that bad. Hey, I have friends who have had like... It's only four days of a show. Sometimes right? you have to eat changes a day. So, God Just bless. Just get on our level. Uh, her name is Phoebe Nix, and she's an amazing human being. She does all kinds of stuff, including emceeing for Pinups by the Pool, which was at the Sheridan this year. Um... Homegirl brought something like 14, 16 costumes. I don't know. It might have been mm. more than that. Like... People go nuts at Dragon Con, and that's one of my favorite things about Dragon Con is that there's always something going on. There's always something to see, whether it's people in costumes, uh, you know, 
10 a.m. on a Thursday morning when everybody is arriving, or the crazy ass costumes that are going on for Dragon Con After Dark. If you want to go see kilt blowing, you can go see kilt blowing. And yes, that is exactly what it sounds like. Dudes in kilts, there's a leaf blower, and you're getting the <laughs> lovely show. I have friends who do participate in that. Um, it's awesome. Who, I mean, it's Did just, you see it's, the Spartans going around? Uh, there's always the Spartans. The 300 going are going around. And I also have friends who are They're walking by, and I'm like, okay, that's my that's a mistake, mistake, future ex, future uh, baby daddy, always mistakes. Uh, I met one of the female Spartans that was there uh, awesome. through friends of mine. She is a badass chick. I know. Seriously. I think Spartan Wonder Woman. No, 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 no. An actual group, Spartan. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany Joy's also awesome. Brittany's awesome. Brittany's awesome. Brittany's <laughs> adorable costume. Yeah. So, what was your favorite part of the con this year? Um. Oh my gosh. This is Dragon Con. It's really hard to pick like that one moment. But I, I guess when I went around the um, the Walk of Fame. So there's a there's a kind of like a cove where they put all mm -hmm. of the stars, um, and they all sit at their booth, and you kind of wait in line. But yeah. um, I wait in line with. My, my friend, so she wanted to meet Michael Rooker. I had met him years mm -hmm. ago, randomly at Adran Con <laughs> because he liked my M8 rifle from Mass Effect, and he kind of comes up and he's like, I want to hold your rifle. That's so that awesome. was like a few years ago. So I meet him again, and my friend's like, I can't do it, I can't, I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. So now we're gonna, we're gonna wait in line. Get he was so nice to her, she was like so happy, and I just walked, I was like, <laughs> Because I already had an autograph and everything from him, so I wasn't going to spend the money. But he goes and gives people hugs, and he's just saying hi, and I, I just, I love him. I, all of the actors are like that. And then you have Barman, who's, like, running around on this lady's scooter, yeah. like, with his butt in her face, and he's, like, running around, like, hey, everyone! And John like, Barman, who, by the way, is recently getting over, um, what was it, appendicitis, I think? Like that, yeah. Uh, he'd been posting stuff online, so... Awesome kudos to him for even making it out. I mean, taking care of your health is like utmost priority, yeah, but, but he really cares about the fans, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I was getting onto an elevator and it opened, and it, Dragon Con, you know, the elevators are always just going to be jam packed. Like, literally, like, oh, this one's going down, I need to go up. Fuck it, I'm getting on anyways. Like, you <laughs> ride the elevator. elevator. Con. <laughs> um, it opened, and there was like four people on the elevator, and we were all oh, sweet. And we go to hop on, and I stand in, and I look straight up. And it's Kevin fucking Sorbo, <laughs> who, by the way, is way taller than you'd think he was going to be, uh, who seemed a little put off, I'm not going to lie, that he had to be riding the Hilton elevator with us plebes. Oh. Um, but also, apparently, I found out afterwards that he's kind of douchey. Oh, and, that's uh, nice. And is, like, super, like, anti- Anti-gay. Yeah. I so, saw that this morning. Yeah. He's not so a very I'm nice kinda, person. Like, full. But uh, it was still a really cool moment. That's probably one of the closest, like, rando encounters I've had to a celebrity. Um, my favorite thing about convention is always that it's one of the times of the year that I get to see all of my friends. I mean, and not just, oh, yeah. like, you know, close friends like you, but, like, people that I don't see other times of the year. Like, this is my nerd family reunion con. It is. I get to see like, everybody. I've had friends from Israel, from England, from, like... I've met friends from Denmark and Sweden. Yeah. And you I sit mean, there and you're like, this is the only convention they'll yeah. go to because it's it's a huge, it's a huge cosplay. And a lot mm -hmm. of international cosplayers like to go there because the masquerade mm -hmm. and the different competitions. So yeah. it's, it's just, it is a family reunion. It is. And it's amazing. Which, bringing that around to the things that I like the least about this, um, unfortunately, um, you know, you get that many people into a crowded setting and that much alcohol in people's systems and really shitty things happen. And in years past, people have blamed it on, oh, well, it was another group that came in. But honestly, I think at this point, I truly believe that we as a community have to police ourselves better. Uh, there was a costumer who was very severely injured when a handful of drunk people decided to throw chairs off of the 10th floor balcony of the Marriott outside onto the streets below and it hit her in the head and sent her to the hospital. They, they said on the news, um, this I mean this hit the, all the local channels yeah. and they said pretty much if she hadn't been wearing the, her helmet, her <laughs> cosplay helmet, and she was cosplaying Loki and she yeah. had the Loki helmet on, she would be dead. Yeah. And I mean this is this is a serious situation of I, I, I don't want us to always consistently go, this isn't part of our community, it couldn't have been a cosplayer. I'm like, no, we have to do better. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, everyone knows the rules of the hotels. Yeah. It's like after certain days, you can't get in this hotel without a badge. Right. 
So I think the excuse that we like to do a lot, I think as a community is, it's somebody outside and I think you're right policing ourselves of, it's a drunk con, I get that, but I just, I'm just very flabbergasted by how, and it's getting more, every year there's always an incident now. Yeah, and unfortunately when you get too many of those, what's going to wind up happening is that the few people who are acting like assholes are going to ruin it for the rest of us. Yeah. And Dragon Con has also changed so immensely in the last few years just because of the sheer amount of people there that I mean, I have friends who have decided that's just not the same convention that they yeah. grew to enjoy. And I mean, even for me, the awe of the first con is still, I haven't recaptured that again. And it's not necessarily because of the people that I enjoy there, it's because of the other people coming in. Yeah. So, you know, I think in I think terms of this convention and, and all conventions, um, as they grow and change and morph around, like you, you really have to be aware of what's going on and you have to be that guy that stands up and says hey don't don't do that what are you thinking um because yeah, this happens with any convention that mm -hmm. has been growing i mean if you've gone to the original KatsuCon, which i have i've been going to KatsuCon since almost the inception when i think they used to be done in dc like i was very little but um i think what are they 18 19 they're like there's there's they've been around a while mm -hmm. now and it's not the same convention it used to be um but we as a community needs to, like you said, please ourselves and do better because the more convention, the bigger conventions get, the more popular they get, they're starting to magnet like people who who probably shouldn't be at the conventions because they're not there to enjoy the cosplay, they're not there to enjoy the friends, they're not even there to enjoy alcohol, they're there to be destructive. Right. So if you want these things to continue happening, guys, you know, stand up for what you know is right, stand up for, you know, the little guys, stand up for those people around you so that you can continue to enjoy all the things that you have been. I mean, and despite all of this, I mean, I think we can both agree. We will go back to Dragon Con from yes. now until eternity, you know, as long as we're still having fun. And this yes. year I had a great time. I, I did absolutely too. Loved I already it. have my hotel for next year and Ooh, I already have, safe. like, I'm already, like, set up. So, uh, guys, Dragon Con. Dragon Con.